has never had from olive. It's the true king of citrus fruits. So I've spent the last like two or three hours cutting out a bunch of these. So I'm not quick scraps, which is awesome because I'll actually put that into the compost. Got a natural possum repellent. morning cutting out a bunch of these frames uh, and that is because this afternoon I'm going to be doing a little bit of activism uh, for Amnesty International Queensland and Northern New South Wales um, so you guys probably know I am an office volunteer I have an internship with Amnesty Queensland and Northern New South Wales I'm the head of uh, media and communications today there's an event in Brisbane it's called our walk for change uh, there's expected to be over 2,000 people attending this rally uh, that was actually organised by a group of Year 12 girls uh, from a school here in Brisbane and it's kind of just blown up uh, as a result of what has been going on lately uh, in the media. So if you're Australian you're probably uh, familiar of Eurydice Dixon. She was a 22-year-old stand-up comedian, uh, the same age as me, who was raped and murdered a few weeks ago on her way home from work. And understandably, the media blew up about this. There was heaps of news reports, heaps of people across social media sharing their thoughts and opinions. And so it's pretty clear that despite improvements um, as a result of the women's rights movement, uh, women all around the world and even here in Australia are still facing uh, sexism, misogyny, violence uh, and online abuse and that's why um, we care about this issue so much at Amnesty International because women's rights are human rights. So these frames that um, I wrote today so I can hand them out to people and get people to take selfies uh, through them uh, and it says women's rights are human rights and that's hopefully going um, to help spread this message um, that women's rights is a human rights issue because I think these days a lot of people kind of brush off like the feminist movement or the women's rights movement um, saying that it's not important um, or you know we've achieved so much in terms of women's rights like it's time we focus on other things but at the end of the day that's what it comes down to women's rights are human rights and so we can't keep brushing them aside and it's something that I'm very passionate about and a lot of other people are passionate about so I'm really excited to head there um, this evening uh, I'll be taking my boyfriend with me he'll be helping me hand out the frames after the event uh, my boyfriend and I are gonna go out for dinner and then we're probably going to go to a friend's house for a few drinks and I'm probably going to vlog tomorrow because I will also be doing some more women's rights related activism which didn't even occur to me until just now uh, so I look forward to showing that with you guys as well Good evening everyone, I'd like to introduce this Thursday traffic accident Brown County Land being in Carter for Labor
Okay, so I'm up nice and early this morning, uh, Monday morning. I'm just having some uh, oats and a turmeric latte for breakfast. And then I'm gonna go inside very shortly and make a bit of a sign for a rally that I'm going to this afternoon. Uh, and then I'll be heading into the Amnesty International Queensland office for the rest of the day. Sleepy boy. <laughs> this is Tiana's lunch, everybody. Look, look at her lunch. Look at it. I'm about to make a um, bit of a poster uh, sign for the rally that I'm going to. Uh, this is for Amnesty International again. Um, so I'm going to a um, picket um, in regards to the decriminalisation of abortion here in Queensland. Um, so if you saw my off-duty stripper vlog that I posted um, earlier on in my university break, um, on one particular day I went to one of these pickets um, and I did a little bit of an interview for ABC News, um, which was really cool. Um, but since then, the Queensland government has announced that, um, based on a report by the Queensland Law Reform Commission, it's going to look into um, decriminalising abortion here in Queensland, which is wonderful. So I'm going to the Women's Abortion Rights Campaign's picket um, in response to the decriminalisation of abortion in Queensland um, to not only show my support, um, but also uh, on behalf of Amnesty International, Queensland and New South Wales, and I'm going to be conducting an interview with some of the organisers and doing a bit of media coverage. So I will definitely show you guys a little bit of that. My name is Hope Foley. I am a member of the Women's Abortion Rights Campaign Committee. Um, so I assist with, with organising and running uh, events like this, such as our, our pickets and rallies. So the Queensland Government has recently announced proposed legislation to legalise abortion. What exactly does this mean in terms of abortion decriminalisation across Queensland? Um, well, first of all, it, it brings us into line with most of, of the other states in this country uh, in terms of recognising that abortion is a, um, it's a health issue. Um, so by taking it out of the criminal code, um, it, it will then be covered by legislation relating to health care. If the bill is passed, how can the Queensland Government ensure that everyone across Queensland can access abortions? Sure. So, um, decriminalising abortion doesn't really guarantee access for all women. Uh, it still leaves vulnerable women uh, from lower socioeconomic backgrounds um, in, in a position where they may or may not be able to access that care. Um, so really what we need in future is for abortion to be covered by public health. Um, for it to be become part of our public health system so that uh, women of all backgrounds have access to that right. So, with no guarantee that legislation will change, how can we go about persuading all Queensland MPs to get on board with the initiative? Uh, well, that's, that's very tricky, I think. Um, but uh, what it really comes down to is members of, of the public putting pressure on their local MPs, letting them know that this is what they want, uh, that they believe that women should have access to the, the full scope of their human rights and that that includes healthcare um, and that abortion is part of that. So um, if people can contact their local MPs and, and encourage them to, to vote in favour of, favor of women's human rights. So we are making some nut meat patties. Got some shallots and spring onions, some nut meat. We've added some rice and we got more nut meat. And we got some paprika and garlic and garlic salt. And what else? Some cracked pepper and some pine nuts because you never have too many nuts in your nut meat. And we've added one flax egg. Ooh. So the nut meat fell apart a little bit, but still looks pretty good. Mm -hmm. 